You're such an asshole. AssholeConsulting.com, go there when you have questions because your parents have completely failed you and your teachers did nothing but kiss your ass. And I will kick it. But then you say, oh, wow, thank you for kicking my ass. I needed that advice. Now I know what to do with my life. I know, I know. Beforehand, you were just going to be a winner. You came out of the vagina, and if you stayed alive for 18 years and graduated from high school, everything was going to be roses. And it turned out not to be. No, it didn't. It didn't turn out to be that way. I was lied to. Thank you very much for lying or for telling me the truth. I, I appreciate that. Assholeconsulting.com. <clears throat> uh, Nick writes, Hello, Aaron. Aaron, I'm a fan of the channel and first-time customer. Let me get right to the point. I'm 20 years old, and I'm a junior in college. I went to community college and took 71 credits in the first year. So I transferred and will get my bachelor's in electronic business marketing at Western Michigan University in case you wanted to check it out in a total of three years. Uh, I have $20,000. Wait, so you're a junior. You went, transferred. You will get it. Western Michigan. <clears throat> you know Josh, by the way? Do you know Josh? No. Uh, total three years. I have $20,000 in savings from various jobs and trading stocks. Lately, I've had a lot of time to think, and I've confirmed what I already knew. I've got the entrepreneur DNA. Allow me to elaborate. I've worked enough jobs to know that I hate all of them. All jobs suck. And based off my personality and mindset, I just don't see myself ever being happy being an employee. Dude, you are a decade at minimum ahead of me. That is great you are figuring this shit out at 20, because this is going to save you an inordinate amount of pain, agony, and bullshit. Uh, down the road. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to put so much effort into building someone else's wealth to get paid once when I can build a business that will continue to pay me years after I've put in the work. So here's my dilemma. dilemma. I have a few internship offers that pay relatively well, around $20 an hour in the IT and marketing industries. I could take one of those internships and gain the experience and money. <coughs> I'd most likely do it for the experience or I could dedicate the summer towards building an online business. Keep in mind, this would be a serious attempt. There is a co-working space in my town that I would utilize Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. I can also work construction with my dad on the weekends to cover basic expenses. As to what the business will be, I'm still undecided, but I'm heavily leaning towards drop shipping or affiliate marketing via some, via product recommendations slash reviews. I will likely Utilize both these concepts in the same business. Next semester, I have to take my general BBA classes, so I'll have a lot more free time to figure it out and begin the work so I have a concept and framework for the business. I might be able to get it up and running before summer, but I just feel that an entire summer of uninterrupted focus is what I need to get to the next level. Thank you for reading this, and please let me know your thoughts. Uh, but uh, Kali, yeah, after you yeah, yeah, I ran into Josh over in St. Joseph. Yep, yep, I know you guys, yeah. So, yeah, you're out there. All right, here's the deal. <clears throat> Until you know what your business is, there's no point and purpose of putting any time into it. Now, if you can make money on site drop shipping or, or affiliate marketing, whatever it is, fine. But until you have the business idea... There's not, you don't have a plan. It's like, well, we're going to attack a country. With which one? Don't know. Let's just fire up the aircraft carriers anyway. Send the planes out. I don't know. We'll figure it out on the way out there. No, there's no reason to, to put forth. Now, if you know that there are going to definitely be some components, fine. Start your drop shipping business. Start your affiliate marketing. Go ahead, get some money. Set up a PayPal account. Go ahead and do that. But that's the hardest part of starting a business, is to figure out which one it is that you should start. This is why you're just going to have to suck it up and go work for somebody else, beat your dad or one of these internships. Make some money in the meantime until the idea comes to you. Uh, so I'm not against you starting a business or even just kind of like starting to do what you have in mind here, but you're not going to not work. That's the, that's the whole idea of the two-prong approach. You're going to work a regular job and put fucking food on the table. And then with your free time, you're going to go and you're going to start your business. And you don't even rent, do not rent facility. What are you, what are you renting for? What, that, is, that is the dumbest thing ever to do is to go and spend money on renting an office space when you don't need it and you can work from your fucking laptop, especially if you're doing online shit, all right? That is, you don't, that is, the, that is one of the biggest mistakes typically women, but not always, beginning entrepreneurs do is, I gotta get a business office. That makes it official. No, you know what makes it official for you to run a fucking business is when you make a fucking profit. It doesn't matter if you're doing it from your bedroom or your cell phone. That is the authentication of a business, is that you make profit. Not whether you have a downtown office. 
So you're not going to do that. What I would recommend you do is, look, you're going, you have a degree. I know you've worked these jobs and they suck. But what's great, the one good thing about working jobs and working in the industry is that things will become apparent to you what would be a good business idea, what would be a good model. I had this thing called independent analytics. When I realized how not only shitty all the banks did their underwriting and loan analysis and due diligence, but how inefficiently they did I said, I could do the work for four or five banks just by myself because these old fucks don't know what the fuck they're doing. Now, I try to plug that idea to these businesses, they didn't take it because, I mean, they literally don't understand the concept and, and that's another problem. But I would not have come up with that idea unless I worked in banking and said, holy shit, there is definitely a need for this type of thing right here. And as evidence of my anecdote there before, just because it's a great idea or it would work doesn't mean people are going to buy it. So you got to go and you got to work, you got to put food on the table. And I'd work recommend, I mean, $20 an hour, that is not a bad wage at all, dude. You can live off of that easy. You're gaining experience and you'll find out, you'll get this kind of bird's eye view of, oh, what's this industry like? Oh, is this what's happening here? Hey, I got an idea. But you sitting there with pencil in hand and paper at your office with no money coming in saying, well, I think it's going to have something to do with internet marketing and internet sales. No, no, no. That's not a business, and that that's that you're gonna piss away your money. You're gonna piss away your time. Then you got then you got financial issues. Then you don't even have the options you have right now, which is oh, I could go work for my dad. I could internship. I could go to school. Now it's like oh shit, I got all this debt. Now I gotta work for my dad and intern. And I gotta skip school. So take your time. There's no rush. I am absolutely 100% for sitting down and thinking about a business. Nobody does that. Nobody sits down and thinks. And the only reason I come up with as many businesses, I, business ideas as I do, because I'm out driving and hiking for days at a time, and there's no one else with, and I got my mind wanders like, hey, I got an idea. That's how I get my ideas. But we're talking viable business idea, maybe two a year viable um, that I end up actually pursuing. And that's, that's, that's with a shit ton of hiking and driving across Nebraska and visiting your buddy out because I was driving like, oh, I want to go Wait, no, I came down a different time. I had the GF with me. That's a different time I came through. Anyway, so yeah, uh, until you have a plan, until you know exactly what you're going to want to do, go out, work in the real world, find out what's wrong with it, find out how you can fix it and make a shit ton of money or find out what that world does not have that it could definitely need. And that's how you're going to come up with a business idea. Now, all that being said, I still like the idea of drop shipping and working on the side. I think you should run a secondary. So you're going to do both. You're going to work your IT job, maybe even work for your dad, and then you're going to run your little your little uh, scam racket on the side. Absolutely, because that is entrepreneurship. You know, you don't necessarily have an idea. You do know how to make money on affiliate marketing and all this other stuff. Uh, it it may grow. It may also and it, it's it's like I've used the analogy and the example before. It's like climbing mountains. There's the mountain in front of you. You don't know the lay of the land because the mountain is blocking off at least 120 degrees of your vision. And you know back there you don't want to go hiking. It's not until you get to that mountain do you see, oh, what else is around? There might be a hidden peak. There's another peak. There's a river over there. There's a canyon over there. This could, And then when as you do more and more entrepreneurship, as you take on more and more businesses, different opportunities and, and options will become apparent to you. Like the example I use is um, teaching dance classes. Well, when I taught dance classes, that's the first peak. Okay, I got the dance classes. Hey, I recognize another peak. You know what I could do? I could sell dance instruction DVDs to my students. And I did, and I made money on it. But not until I got to that first peak of teaching dance classes would I have made the observation to realize I could sell DVDs. So absolutely pursue your, your online endeavors. Do that. Don't get an office to do it. Do the IT thing. Continue going to school. You know, don't don't push yourself, but you're almost done with it. You might as well. And it's not the worst degree ever. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Um, and then it, things will become apparent to you. But also put the time and effort into thinking about it and, and, and keeping a keen eye open for what opportunities may exist. And they're not always going to become apparent. Don't, don't try and find one that isn't there. But, but every once in a while, they'll be like, holy shit, that's a great idea. This, this might actually work. So anyway, that, best of luck to you. Hope that helps out. Hope that gives you a little bit more clarity and guidance. And then, yeah, say hi to all the, the crew over there in Michigan and, and uh, Khalil. We'll talk to you guys later. Toodles.